a young man in the hospital right now battling against a rare disease. Yeah, it's one that's going to steal his sight, his hearing, eventually his life, probably before he turns 30. WECT's Ashley Kozakowski is finding out how some are helping him and others who are suffering from this rare condition. Kay and Adam Zwan wait for a call from his doctor to see if his physician thinks Adam needs to be rushed to the hospital. Adam, who is 25 years old, is one of 18 people in the U.S. with Wolfram syndrome, which will eventually take his life. Tonight, he's having severe abdominal pain. You can see the stress and worry on his face and that of his mom's, a woman who loves her son deeply. We talked to her moments before this. He has inspired me on many levels. Most of all, through his determination and his tenacity, Adam is defined by much more than Wolfram syndrome. He just happens to have Wolfram syndrome, but he's much more than a disease. Tonight, the real life drama in their home is playing out in front of cameras, not just ours, but those of a documentary team. The crew is working on a film about people suffering from Wolframs. It's actually boosted his spirits because it's a distraction from what it is that he's challenged by because he's hopeful that by giving it a voice and giving him a voice and the other children a voice that there will be um, more funding for the research that they really need. But tonight his voice was silenced. The filmmakers had to stop rolling because Kay rushed Adam to the hospital. We worry about him. You know, they're off to the hospital right now. And, you know, who knows what, what's going to happen to Adam tonight, even. It's a delicate situation. Jocelyn LaRue is the filmmaker behind the project. She says her journey started with a little girl named Ellie White. We first introduced you to the 11-year-old last summer as she learned how to surf in Wrightsville Beach. Jocelyn was Ellie's dance instructor in her hometown in Colorado. When she found out about Ellie's condition, she wanted to do more to help. Adam's mom hopes it all makes a difference. There are millions and millions of dollars invested in Alzheimer's research, which is a neurodegenerative disease of the aging. Yet we have these young children who are dying before the age of 30, and, um, and we fight for the funds. <laughs> Now we just checked and Adam was admitted into the hospital. We are waiting to hear just how he's doing. We will keep you updated on his fight. All of the profits from the film called A Light in the Shadows will go toward the Ellie White Foundation.